was a, a really good weekend for us. And uh, as coaches, you want to continue to see improvements uh, from earlier in the season and now. And as, as uh, Denise said, we had uh, some struggles against both Wofford and Furman on the road the first time we played them. Uh, we let one slip away at Wofford in, in that we had an 11-point lead. And um, in conference, it's pretty typical that home teams are much more comfortable and play much better at home. And we weren't able to get the stops. They got hot from three. Uh, they went get a uh, zone against us, and we weren't able to knock down some shots. So this weekend was big for us. And, and one, showing the improvements, but two, really starting to gel on both ends of the court. And uh, we put a lot of focus on our defense, one with our transition defense, and two with our one-on-one -on -one defense, We're working really hard at trying to keep our opponents in front of us so we didn't have to have a lot of help and we were able to really make sure we got box out. So those were the, the focuses that we had. And I thought we had a really good weekend of both, especially our transition defense um, with both teams this weekend. Um, shot the ball really well yesterday and uh, shot our highest percentage of the season at 49%. Good to see everybody. I guess since we since we were together last, it's been a month, and in that month we we've had six ball games. We're three and three in those six games. <clears throat> we uh, won two on the road at, at uh, Georgia Southern and at the Citadel. Uh, lost uh, on the road uh, to Elon and Wofford, and then we split two at home. Uh, one versus Sanford, lost versus Davidson. If you, Fast forward a little bit to the last four games, we're one in three. And uh, we've played some pretty good opponents, uh, but we haven't played as well or as sharp as we were uh, in early January, to be very honest with you. And uh, I think there's a couple reasons for that. Um, I, I think we're still working hard. I think we're still executing fairly well. I do think we're improving. Uh, we're not shooting the ball real well, to be quite honest. Uh, in those four games, you know, the Citadel was a pretty convincing win. Uh, we did shoot about 46% there, but had we made some easy baskets there, very easily could have been in the mid-50s. So uh, didn't take advantage of some opportunities there. But the other three games were 31%, 40%, and 41%. So, uh, you know, we just have not, you know, we had that trouble a little bit in November, and it's coming, it's cropped. You know, the ugly head is cropping back up a little bit. Uh, you know, you might say, well, are you shooting too many threes? Uh, honestly, uh, we were at the top of the league in three-point percentage. I think we're still shooting over 37 uh, percent. That's not been the case. We are shooting uh, very, very poorly from inside the three-point line, and especially at the basket. You, you know, we've lost kind of a, an inside presence where we you know, we, we have established some inside-outside scoring. And uh, that's kind of made us at times one-dimensional. We've had some droughts with that. On Saturday, it could be any one of about 11, 12 different guys. And, uh, but they're dangerous. Believe me, they're dangerous. So you know, we just got to take it to them. It's not about them. It's going to be about us. I'll leave it. Good. Love to see you at the game. Good luck, man. Thank you.